Hey guys, Omni here. Welcome back for episode nine, the penultimate episode of season one of Dark. This has been a wild ride. With this being the second to last episode of the season, I expect some pretty crazy stuff to be revealed in this. And we've already had some pretty crazy stuff revealed up to this point. With that all said, if you want to see the volume three action, check it out over on Patreon or Beyond Emerald Channel because you access as well. It is a watch along format, so you will need your own footage to sync up with the time codes of my reaction the entire episode. You get the same thing for all the other shows and movies that we cover here on the channel. Over there, you also get to suggest and then vote on what movies we react to each month. We got monthly Q and A's, behind the scenes footage. I try to make it worth your while, because you are a good way to support the channel. And guys, if you enjoy this reaction, I'd really appreciate it if you leave a like, drop a comment, subscribe if you're not already, because it really does help us out. But with that all said, guys, let's hop into episode nine. Everything is now. Here we. Seit jeher rätselt der Mensch über seine Herkunft, seine Entstehung. Von Gott geschaffen oder ein Produkt? Mm. So werden wir endlich Antworten finden auf die größten aller Fragen. Was ist der Mensch? Woher kommt er? This is a wild opening, man. Das ist seine Bestimmung. You know, some of those, it would immediately flash between a younger version of them and then a different stage. Like, it would kind of cycle through them. But then some of them would just be, you know, singular, like, self-contained because of where we, what we don't know just yet. It's really, it's really interesting. I, I, I rewatched, I, before this, I actually watched this opening twice. I went back and was like, wait a second, I need to watch this again. And I still, I was like... Because it goes through all the present day kids, and then it starts the stranger, and then starts going through everybody like bap 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 bap, bap and then Noah. And it's like, damn it! I was like really hoping there was like a trick or a a hint there, and I was just missing it because I have to read the subtitles. <laughs> I mean, you were being a little, like, harsh. How long has he been gone by this point then, though? I mean, he's got to still be alive. Even though, you know, they didn't <laughs> display that very well last episode. Because, I mean, the way things have played out so far, I don't think things can be changed. But what do I know? Er hat nach dem Jungen vom Doppler gefragt. Dem Kollegen Bescheid und gibt eine Verhandlung raus. Kein Wort zum Doppler. Oh. It's kind of interesting because Egon and Ulrich have this weird dynamic that is repeating here, but at a different point in time for each of them. Wow. Aber bringen Sie mir mal. He cares, man. Die Mädchen in Winden werden wir reinweise hinterherlaufen. Wirst schon sehen. Hast du schon eine Freundin? You want one? <laughs> Was hat denn dein Mann beruflich gemacht? Er war Pfarrer. Aber ich kann nicht sagen, dass er Mann vom Glauben war. Vermisst du ihn sehr? Er war kein guter Mensch. Uh, ich glaube, ich ist es gut, dass er tot ist. Und ich frei. Uh, ich habe zu Gott gebetet, dass er das Kind wegmacht, noch bevor es geboren war. Weil es vielleicht nicht bei uns ist. Weil es vielleicht nicht in Liebe gemacht wurde, sondern es die Hand des Teufels ist. Gott hat mich zu Ihnen geführt. Ist es nicht so? Wir wollen beten. What in the world? Du salbest mein Haupt mit Öl und schenkest mir voll ein. Gutes und Barmherzigkeit werden mir folgen, mein Leben lang. Bleiben im Hause des Herrn immer da. Oh no. Oh, 
<laughs> oh, wow. He was so close. Oh, he might still make it. He might still make it. No, you didn't though. You didn't finish the job. Though I have no idea. What in the world? 86. 86. And the fact that Noah may be like Ulrich's grandfather is uh, interesting revelation. And then the mystery of who Helg's actual father is. Well, she kind of does, and she's a little, <laughs> a little out of the loop about that. How? How? Dude, somebody's playing some mind games in this cave, man. I think you've been the Antichrist. They did uh, have that little Antichrist comment last episode, and then what is Noah in the, on all of this? And they're of that blood, presumably. It's on spiel. We had me schon nicht die ganze Nacht hängen lassen. Wow. Wow. Entschuldigt euch jetzt bei ihr. Ich habe gesagt, ihr sollt euch entschuldigen. Ha! Ha! What the fuck? Und wenn ihr noch einmal wehtut, mache ich euch fertig, ist okay? Danke. <laughs> I'm losing some blood, you know, a little, little, uh, little draining. Oh, wow. Yes. Alexander. Okay. Interesting. Oh, shit. <laughs> Look at that old notes. As things are about to happen here. But the question is, does Ulrich ever get out of 86? What's, uh, what's present day hell going to do, though? And what's his story? What brought him to the town? Like, looked like he had robbed some stuff, and, like, he, he had some... He had a couple of GTA stars on his, uh, HUD. What the fuck? Boris... something. Alexander Kohler. Geboren am 21.01. Oh. Oh. What the fuck? 
So that's probably, that might not even be his real name. So the, oh, what the f Who are you? <laughs> Looking for work at the plant. Oh. She's starting to brush her hair now. Hmm. Yeah, all right. I was right. What the fuck? So questions I have right now, I know we're still going, I was like, who is Alexander really? Who is Noah really? Oh wow, she's held on to this? I can't read that at all. Boris something. God damn. Du glaubst, dass wir zu Hause sitzen und Händchen halten, ja? Gott, wenn ich bin Unser Kind ist weg und hat nichts Besseres zu tun, als diese Fotze zu finden. Oh, great. Nein, Charlotte, es ist nicht besser so. Jeez. Well, shit. Well, there she is. What the fuck? <laughs> Man, ich bin's. Jetzt melde dich doch endlich mal. Oh, yeah, and we still don't know what Noah and... Francisca? Uh... Marta? Bartos went over. Warum haben wir eigentlich alle Geheimnisse voneinander? Manche Sachen will man eben für sich behalten. Oh no. <laughs> ich habe es beendet. Ich wollte das alles nie. What the fuck? Er hat einfach nicht locker gelassen. Wow. Ich habe ihm gesagt, dass es verrückt ist, dass er dich nicht mehr liebt. Whoa, she's so manipulative. This is for buying. <laughs> she's like, I will get him. What's going on in the next year? This is a long story. Vielleicht erzähle ich sie dir eines Tages. When Nina comes, she's spät nach Hause. Also, hast du vor zu warten oder? Heute nicht. She's on a timetable. Sommer und allem, was danach kam. Ich habe sehr viel falsch gemacht damals. Glaub mir, wenn ich die Zeit zurückdrehe. If I could turn back time. Ja, das tut gut. Oh, is she gonna confront him? Funny how he managed to work himself into being in charge of the power plant, you know? Who is you? Oh God. What the fuck? What does it even mean? Wow. 
Boris Niewald. 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 I mean, even if that's an alias, Niewald, Conwald, Nielsen, he is a mystery figure that appeared out of nowhere and installed himself in this plot. <laughs> is that a stretch? Hello. Hello. Yeah, this is going to be an awkward conversation if it ever turns into that. God, man, not being able to tell her the truth because it would be literally insane. Just imagine that though, the person you were crushing on for so long, you know, head over heels for, and you found out you were related in the end. <laughs> uh, I don't, I'm not even sure how to process this episode right now, man. What if Noah is Bartos? Sie hatten recht. Alles ist so eingetreten, wie sie es vorher gesagt hat. Oh. Hast du über mein Angebot nachgedacht? Oh, their eyes don't match. Never mind. What the fuck is going on? Hiding the waste behind that door and sealing it. Which one are you? Oh. Wow. Can I help you? She can come and go too. Ich möchte, dass sie das für mich bauen. She designed it. Was was soll das sein? Sagen wir, es ist etwas, das den Lauf der Zeit gerade rücken wird. Guys, I don't even, I don't even know. I don't even know where to start with this one. This one is literally breaking my mind. I, I, I got, I'm just going to be straight up. There's no way in hell I'm, I'm going to like be popping off for like almost 20 minutes after this episode. I just, I can't, I can't. My brain is like fizzling right now. It's like boiled water. So Agnes was married to a pastor and she got, wanted to get away from him. And we cut to Noah. Is Noah that pastor or is that like a mislead? Seems pretty intentional. As Greta is there confessing about the truth about Helg's parentage. I, 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 I believe I read that scene correctly. That that's, that kid is not like Helg was not conceived between those two. Presumably. Um, let me I, I want to go back to that scene. Because I want to make sure I, I heard that right. Und als es da war, habe ich jeden Tag gebetet, dass ihm etwas zustößt. Weil es vielleicht nicht bei uns ist. Yeah. 
Yeah, because he may not be Burns' child. So she's had some kind of non-consensual uh, encounter that makes her uncertain of if Helg is actually Burns' child or not. So someone else could be Helg's father. There's such a odd mystery around Francisca as well. Like what, 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 and where is her trajectory going? Is a, is a big question I've got here. And who is Alexander? Really, Boris Neilwald. Hold on. I want to look at that spelling again. Boris Neilwald. Yeah. Okay. The spelling is as I recalled it. I don't know if you would do the same shtick with the, the first and last name, Boris. No, no, no one's first names matches up if we wanted to do like my little theory word crafting, at least on the board as we have them so far. But present day Ulrich is in 86, arrested for the murder of Helg. Will he ever escape? Hannah is systematically getting revenge on Ulrich. It's not even revenge. This is just pure selfish destruction because she's wanted him. He's denied her, so now she's trying to destroy everything around him, so the only person he will be able to go to is her. She is vile, man. Oh my god. So if Boris Neilwald, uh, Neilwald is also a an alias, I do wonder if he is, who, who the fuck he is? Because he just showed up out of nowhere and then sought out a job at this power plant, dude. Also, uh, one thing, I think Eric was one of the bodies that were found in uh, 86, if I'm not mistaken. That's something I, I didn't touch upon either. Noah is trying to prevent some sort of apocalypse, save time and space and eradicate evil how the fuck you do that with a time machine, I have no idea, because people are people. So I don't know what he really intends to do unless he in he intends to just wipe out everything. And then we've learned that it's it was not actually Tanhouse to design this thing. He may have built it, but he didn't design it. That design came from Claudia, who has discovered this thing through Gretchen, through these caverns, through this job that she's kind of stumbled herself into. And it's just, the the interconnectivity of all of this is just, it's insane to me. And Noah's approached Bartos about this. He's like, hey, join me, blah, blah, blah. Uh, if you don't believe me on what I'm trying to achieve here, these things are gonna happen, here's when, and then they do. Which means he's lived through them. So I've got to guess that maybe he is, he is, he could be Bartos, but again, I don't think the eyes match because Noah's got blue eyes and Bartos, I think, has brown eyes. But then again, I've made that mistake in the past before, but he could be, he's got to be somebody else on, on this map, someone else we know. The stranger also is just going in like they, because I don't understand Alexander's plan just now because, you know, after he got this motivation to call the police to dig up dirt or information on Ulrich to enact Hannah's plan based on her blackmail. He's like, we need to put the canisters back after he helped kind of move them out. We got confirmation that the test lab was in 86 and that Helg and Noah are convening there in present day. Ulrich failed to kill Helg all these things are still playing out. And one thing we did follow up on is present day Helg, 2019 Helg is still in 86 skulking around the cabin. We didn't see what he did next. <sighs> I, there's so much going on, man. And then is Agnes playing her own game in a way, in the way that she's kind of interjecting herself into Doris and Egon's kind of relationship. I'm so intrigued by that. And Claudia is a character we gotta really be paying attention to now. 
Alexander came out of nowhere with this. Damn, man. Another wild episode, and then this this awkward, awkward interaction between uh, Martha and Jonas. You know, that's just, there's no way to walk around that one. It's just awkward. It's awkward, awkward, awkward. You're just going to be filled with nothing but conflicting and confused emotions. But he's standing by what he's learned. And, you know, no matter how much he feels, he knows it. What he knows what it is at this point. We're not John Stowe and Daenerys seeing this. <laughs> I was wondering about that, like what path this is going to take. Will Ulrich be able to get out of jail? Will he be able to get home? Got so many questions about where this is heading. And I'm not going to spend a lot of time going into this because we just got the finale ne next. I know we got two more seasons after that. They're building up to this big summer event where everything just kind of fell apart. Every, apparently everything just went to hell after whatever has transpired. You know, Claudia mentioned it. I think we're building up. We're seeing elements of these things, and it's all happening in different time periods at different points. And we got the machine activating, which Joan uh, Stranger is hoping that this can destroy the connective tissue between these time zones and cut it completely off. Damn, man. I don't know. And they got like a similar little uniform. So are, is the stranger and Claudia working in tandem? And how, if so, how does that, how does that come together? There's so many things at play, man. This is just, this is a lot to juggle. I, I think I'm holding together okay, but my God, is it a lot? But I'm just, I, I'm, I'm done. I'm not, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna let this play out, guys. What do you think of the episode? Sound off the comments. Let me know your thoughts down below. We'll carry on the conversation after the video. And if you enjoyed this reaction, which I hope you did, please leave a like, drop a comment, subscribe if you're not already. Remember, you can see the full-length reaction over Patreon or if you become a member of the channel, get you access as well. And speaking of before we go, I want to shout out our channel legends. Many share Ryan, Karen, Jason Coleman, Philly Vane, Yori Coruscant, Margaret Grace, Melito, Robert Anguiano, Raven McCann, Jeffrey Hale, M. Sephiroth, Jake Contrell, and Josh Lee. Thank you guys so much for your continued support. That's it for this video, guys. I'll see you all next week for the finale of Season 1. Take care, everybody.